Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, March 20th, 2024 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. I brought up a quick case study today about an IP address that is hunting firewalls. I should probably uh, say more correctly, perimeter security devices. There are also some Zell gateways and the like part of this. This is, of course, something that we have been talking about for a couple of years now, that these devices and their vulnerabilities are a prime target for attackers. This particular IP address has been added uh, since about December 7th last year. Started looking for Fortinet uh, devices at first. Actually, interestingly, a couple days before a uh, patch was released for a particular vulnerability there. And uh, more recently, in the last few days, we sort of spread out and uh, looking now for vulnerabilities in like WatchGuard, Palo Alto, Imanti or Pulse Secure, F5, Citrix, and Cisco. So really sort of your full set of uh, devices. There was a question from one of the handlers if there's any uh, 40 gate devices here. Uh, didn't see any attacks against those specific devices. But really what this attacker is doing is more scanning for potential vulnerable devices to possibly then exploit them once an exploit becomes available for one of these devices. And this has been a little bit sort of a challenge for attackers because uh, typically after a new exploit is released, well, uh, devices are pretty much being exploited within uh, sort of a day or so. So I uh, wrote about this, I think, uh, last week as well. You don't really have time to patch, but attackers also don't have a time to attack these devices because otherwise they're running into situations where existing attackers will evict them from any vulnerable devices that they may find. And talking about Fortinet, we now do have a exploit available for a relatively new 40 OS vulnerability. This vulnerability was patched in February. And yes, uh, this exploit is available. It's not a really straightforward vulnerability. It takes a little bit of work to really understand it. There is a GitHub repo I'll link to. As always, treat it with uh, the respect and caution it deserves. This particular vulnerability, I haven't uh, seen any exploit attempts in our honeypots yet uh, for this. Uh, just checked uh, before uh, starting the recording. I did, however, do uh, see some uh, hits for the particular URL going back to sort of mid to late January and very early February. N have to look at it closer. Maybe I'll write this up a little bit uh, tomorrow to see if this was some kind of precursor here or uh, just uh, someone who happened to use this particular vulnerability to fingerprint Fortinet 40 OS devices. And with the increase in the value of Bitcoins, uh, crypto coin scams are making sort of a big comeback. The FBI released its annual report for 2023 and noted that crypto coin scams are actually outranking ransomware in the amount of damage cost. The report is pretty good understanding the scale of losses caused by different types of uh, cybercrime, but of course, realize as usual that this is just reported uh, losses, not necessarily all losses caused by different uh, cybercrimes, in particular smaller ones, of course, are often not at all reported and not always clear how realistic some of the reported losses are. And apparently there are a couple of issues with the latest macOS Sonoma update 14.4. Probably the one that uh, may be the most critical here is that Java apparently is having issues if you are running an Apple chip, one of the M series ARM chips. Also some issues with uh, USB ports apparently 
printers and a couple other things in particular uh, actually also these uh, pace and i lock uh, copy protection systems if you have software that uh, depends on that uh, you uh, may run into issues not sure how common they actually are anyway if you're running into any of these issues yes this may be because you upgraded your mac os well this is it for today thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow bye